pull down gst pull down is a important technique for identifying protein protein interaction so we need to use bacterial expression system we would use e coli and we would use bacterial expression vectors so basically we need two bacterial expression vectors plasmid 1 and plasmid 2 in plasmid 1 we would have our protein of interest a and in plasmid 2 we have our protein of interest b protein of interest a is actually tagged with gst in the plasmid so gst is glutathione s transferase and we would transfer transform the bacteria with both these expression vectors and as both of these expression vectors have the lag z promoter and a and b are under the control of lag z promoter we can induce the expression of a and we can induce the expression of b with the help of iptg which is isopropyl thiogalactosidase which is a variant of allolactose and the inducer of lac operon so by indi which would induce the lac z promoter and would ad actually it would help to express all these protein A and protein B. So now you can see in the bigger picture protein A is produced and it has a GST tag and protein B also have a MBP tag. Now the MBP tag is sometimes used to make the protein more soluble. So in order to detect whether A and B are interacting with each other that means physically interacting with each other we have to lyse the cells we have to take the cell lysate now in first test tube we would take the cell lysate then we would add gsh coated beads now gsh is glutathione which would directly bind to gst now it would pull down a with itself and now if b is interacting with a then uh, actually b would be also pulled down with a so in the pull down fraction we would expect a and b both if they are interacting with each other then we would do we would run the gel then we would do a western blot and we can use antibody against the tag or we can use the antibody against the protein so now you can see in the third lane when both a and b present we get a strong band that means a and b both are interacting with each other so this is how we can understand whether A and B are interacting or not. If they are not interacting, we won't get a band. So, but in this particular case, they are interacting with each other. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please give it a quick thumbs up and please like and subscribe. Thank you.